As with everything with a covert narcissist, even the devaluing can look a little different. It can look a little more subtle. Let's talk about devaluation, the devalue cycle, and covert narcissists. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal from toxic relationships and narcissistic people. So the narcissistic abuse cycle, the love bombing and the devaluing, to simplify it, okay? When they are giving you everything you want to hear, a narcissistic person who is more covert perhaps aren't over the top love bombing. They're perhaps not over the top just like giving you all the charm and giving you the stares and giving you all that attention and energy that an overt narcissist will give you. It may be more subtle. It may be in the form of friendliness, in really listening to you, in attentiveness, in shyness, in reservedness, and all of that builds this false character, this false mask that you see that person as, right? So they do the same thing when they devalue, okay? What happens in the relationships, as we know, when there's a narcissistic cycle is that they'll hold that love bombing for a little while. And then as things start getting real, as the mask starts slipping, as they start getting tired of holding the mask on, the devaluation starts. So most relationships out there of any kind begin with an idealization phase. That is very normal. You don't know this person. All you see is what they're presenting. And what they're presenting is often their best because they're just kind of being themselves. They don't know you. They don't, it's not an interaction between you yet, right? Relationship is both people relating, which creates all kinds of dynamics that starts to show you the different sides of a person, the different views of a person, the different ways a person reacts, as well as yourself doing the same thing. So it's very natural for relationships to go from, wow, that's an amazing person to, well, but they're kind of lazy, right? And, and have that flow. But the thing is, in healthy relationships, that is like a slight little bump. That is a really easy thing to transition from, wow, they're amazing to, oh, they're a human being, right? When you're with a narcissistic person, it's they create this situation where it is over the top amazing and then they devalue you, you who you are, your worth, your everything in the process. And yet they are squeaky clean. All right. So let's look at some of the ways that a covert narcissist or someone with covert narcissistic traits devalues in relationships. A covert narcissist may intentionally start nitpicking. They may let you make mistakes. They may set you up to make mistakes, create situations they know are difficult for you and watch you fail and watch you struggle. And instead of lifting you up like a friend or like someone who really has your well-being in mind, they start nitpicking you and devaluing and pointing out the things you're doing wrong and pointing out how how you failed. They might start saying things like, what? you don't know how to do that? What's the matter with you? Oh, you're just being you. You know what I mean? Like in, in these passive aggressive comments that aren't necessarily aggressive or assertive are certainly not kind. And they're certainly pointing a finger at you saying something's wrong with you. Sometimes when relationships are new, people don't define the relationship. Let's just talk about a romantic relationship here, but this could be any relationship. They won't define it. They'll just be with the person, however that they are together. But most people, when it gets to a certain point in a relationship, some definition is needed. We're friends. We are a couple. We are this, right? Like you become a we somehow, right? Sometimes very avoidant covert narcissists will flat out refuse to approach or broach that subject. They will keep things ambiguous. They will keep it so that you don't know where you stand or who you are to them. They will be hot and cold with things like texting and phone calls and when they see you and how they see you and how often they see you. They'll either flood you with attention and then pull it back or keep it super intermittent, but they won't allow for regularity or security to come into play. This is kind of a form of devaluing. It's saying, I don't value this relationship enough to make it a relationship. It could be a friendship where they do that. It can be a romantic relationship. It doesn't matter. It's just they won't actually commit to that relationship. And this can be true for anyone who has an avoidant attachment style. But when it's done with the covert narcissist, remember, it's done very subtly. And when it's done from someone who is narcissistic, 
they're usually hiding something. People who are avoidant in relationships or just have an avoidant attachment style may actually just need that space. So we have to be careful. This is one red flag, not the whole package, okay? Covert narcissistic people may taunt you for the things you do or say. They may use you as the butt of the joke, okay? And then say you have no sense of humor when you're crying instead of laughing. They may devalue your friends and your family, your animals, your work. Just start little put downs, little comments, little jabs that cause you to feel like you don't have support for the things you do and the people you know in your life. And usually it's things that don't have any rhyme or reason or things that like if you have friends that are questionable, right? And, and they point it out, that makes sense, right? But if you have like good people and there's no reason for them to be put down and there's no real reason that the narcissistic person has for putting them down, but they start doing the put downs anyway, they're trying to control things. They're first trying to isolate you and they are also devaluing you in the process of devaluing everything else. They're saying you can't make decisions and you don't have good people around you. Again, more avoidant types of covert narcissists, instead of just cutting you off or walking away or shaming you or whatever, like a more overt person will do, they will subtly fade away. They will start ghosting you. They'll stop texting as much. They will start withholding affection and withholding the giving that they once had in the beginning of the relationship. Now remember, relationships cannot stay the way they were on day one or day two, right? They're going to evolve and change throughout time. But this is sort of like an abrupt difference and a complete shift between the way they were and the way they are now. They may devalue your decisions by, again, passive aggressive or subtle insults. Show no signs of respect. You know, you may have something you want to do or something you want to say, and they disregard you. Disregard's a big one with covert narcissists. They don't necessarily yell at you and call you names and be um, as aggressive as an overt narcissist or like so boastful, like I'm so much better than you and you don't know anything kind of like that. It's more that they just don't listen. They don't hear you and they devalue you through this complete disconnect in the relationship. They'll ignore you when you're sick. They'll deny you attention and affection. Showing very little interest in your life and the things you like, you enjoy, who you are as a person. Basically, they're devaluing who you are as a person through very subtle ways that start slow and slowly devolve until they no longer seem to have any interest in you. Have you guys been around this? Have you seen this? I'm sure some of you have because these signs that I'm talking about here of the covert narcissist devaluation are pretty common, okay? And it's really painful. And it is something that people talk to me about all the time in coaching. And when they talk about it and they start hearing themselves say it. And the reason we're talking about this even now is because the validation received from hearing yourself say it or hearing someone else say exactly what is going on in your life can make the difference between you being able to start healing or not. Okay, get help if you need it. If you need to talk to me, there is information on coaching or group coaching in the main description of every video. Otherwise, find yourself some help for this because this messes with your head, okay? This makes you feel like there's something wrong with you. The covert narcissist is a subtle, subtle person who nobody else really sees the toxic things that they do, not really and they can prove how amazing they are based on how the rest of the world sees them and what the rest of the world tells them because they play nice in public, okay? So make sure you get support. This is a person that is very sneaky and very tricky and I think extremely poisonous to a lot of people's lives. All right, you guys take care and find me on the next video. I'll see you then.